Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. If you're new here, I follow the Weight Watchers program. I get 23 points a day and 28 weeklies, but I also share calories on my channel as well. So let's jump right into my day where I'll show you my full day of eating. I'm gonna start my day with my pre-breakfast snack before I actually make my full breakfast. So I'm just having this Dan and Light and Fit Protein Strawberry Banana Smoothie. These are really good. They're only one point. I've mentioned many times, if you search for these in the app, they're gonna come up two points, but they're actually only one if you scan them. They are one point and 80 calories, and then I have a zero point banana. So this is gonna be one point and 180 calories. So I'm just gonna eat that, and then I'll start I'm making my coffee. I'll drink my coffee after I eat that. In my coffee, I've just got some Splenda Monk Fruit Sweetener, and today I'm using the Zero Sugar Italian Sweet Cream, but I'm also adding just a touch of this Tarani Sugar-Free Vanilla Syrup, just to give it a little splash of vanilla. So this is gonna be the start of my day, so I'll come back and show you what I'm making for breakfast. All right, so now I'm cooking my breakfast. I've got some hash browns in there and I'm gonna cook up some of these Canadian bacon. You can actually have four slices for one point and then these hash browns I get from Aldi. You can have two thirds of a cup for two points. And then I've got a couple eggs over here. Eggs on Weight Watchers are zero. I'll have the total calories for this at the end. And then I'm also gonna add some fat-free cottage cheese. I'm all out of the good culture cottage cheese, so I'm just gonna use this kind. This is zero points on Weight Watchers. All right, so in my bowl, I have my cottage cheese and then I have my hash browns that I've broken the ham slices into that. So I've got about two thirds of a cup of hash browns with the four slices of ham pieces. So as you can see, because I was filming, I let my eggs sit too long. I really kind of wanted it like that so I could break it apart and let it fall down into the hash browns. So under my eggs, I have two thirds of a cup of the hash browns and the four ham slices. I have my cottage cheese and my eggs. Okay, so I'm sitting here eating and forgot to give the points and calories. So for this whole entire thing, I've already ate some of it. For the two eggs, the two thirds cup of hash brown, the four slices of Canadian bacon, the half a cup of cottage cheese, it is only three points. It's 390 calories and 39 grams of protein. So that should definitely hold me over. So this is my lunch today. Just kind of a little bit of everything. So first of all, I have these egg rolls. These are chicken egg rolls. I get these from Walmart. They're Feel Good Foods brand. And for these, they're three points for each egg roll and 110 calories. So I've got one egg roll there. And then I also have a Members Mark Light String Cheese. That is two points and 50 calories. I have four green olives. I just use the great value kind for these. You can have four of them for zero points and calories. They're 25 calories for four olives. I also have some carrots and some ranch dressing. So I have the Bolt House Farms carrots and also Bolt House Farms dressing. I got the carrots from Sam's Club. So I did weigh out the carrots. Normally I don't do that, but it was already on the scale because I was weighing out my salad dressing. So I ended up doing 85 grams of carrots, which is three ounces, 35 calories, zero points. And then for the salad dressing, it is 50 calories and two points for two tablespoons. So for the dressing, I actually dip the carrots and the egg rolls in that. It is so good dipped in that. For Weight Watcher points, this ends up being a seven point lunch. It's three for the egg roll, two for the string cheese, and two for the dressing. Zero for the olives, zero for the carrots. And for calories, it's 265, and this has 17 grams of protein. All right, I'm getting ready to cook dinner, and tonight I'm making scallop fried rice. So I'm using my chicken fried rice recipe, and instead of chicken, I'm gonna use scallops. So I bought these scallops at Sam's Club and some of you had commented saying you would love for me to show how I make these or some say you love them but you don't know how to make these. These are so easy to pan sear. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. There's different ways you can make these but honestly pan searing is really the only way that I've ever made them. I just love them so much I don't even wanna try a different way. So these are frozen. So what I'm gonna do is take out, we're probably gonna have about six each. These are the fairly big ones. So 
For six of them, about six of them is a four ounce serving. It's 100 calories, but scallops are zero on Weight Watchers. So I'm gonna take about six out each for my husband and I. So I'll put about 12, and I'm just gonna put them in this bag, and then I'll put this bag right in this bowl and just let some water run over it until they're thawed out. And let me show you the size of these. So these are the sea scallops. So these are the ones that are pretty big size. I almost wanna just make the whole bag, but leftover scallops are not the best. I like them fresh. So I'm gonna get those running underwater, and in the meantime, while that's going, I'm gonna get everything cut up. I have some scallions here. My recipe actually doesn't call for scallions, but I do like to add some of those once in a while. I have an onion here, but I think I have enough left of the shallot, so I'm just gonna use the shallot. You can use onion or shallot. I already have some cooked rice here. I've got about one and a half cups here. So the recipe on my website, it makes enough for six, and that's using three cups of rice. So this is actually probably gonna make enough for three for the fried rice, and then just enough for two for the scallops. I'm also gonna use a couple eggs, and then instead of soy sauce, I'm using this coconut amino sauce. You can use soy sauce and then also some sesame seed oil. So I'm going to do about one and a half tablespoons of the coconut amino sauce and maybe half a teaspoon of the sesame oil. And then to make it easy, I'm just going to use these mixed vegetables. But I also would like some broccoli in with it as well. So I'm just going to cook this in the microwave. I'm going to put a little bit of water down in the bottom. I've already washed them. Actually, there's some water from washing them. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water down in the bottom, cover them with a damp paper towel and put them in my microwave for three to five minutes. And then I'll add those to the pan when they're cooking. So now I'm just gonna cut up my shallot and also my green onions. I'm not gonna use all the green onions in the fried rice. I'm gonna save some of it for the top. And then in my pan, I have just a little bit of avocado oil that I'm going to cook this all in. I forgot to put my little, I usually keep like a silicone pot holder underneath my cutting board and I forgot there. So once the pan's hot, just put the shallots and the green onion in there and then just dump the frozen vegetables right in there. I do let the frozen vegetables sit out of the freezer for a little bit first. I ended up cooking my broccoli for just three minutes in the microwave and then I drained the water out and then just add the broccoli to the pan. So basically with the fried rice, it's just a lot of stirring so now I'm adding in my rice and just stir that together now you can cook the eggs ahead of time if you prefer I just make a little well in the middle and then I just scramble my eggs right in there so I just scramble them in the middle until they're set and then just mix them all in with the rest next I'm gonna add my half a teaspoon of sesame oil and then one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce or the coconut amino sauce and then I'm just gonna stir that up until it's all combined and before I forget, I do want to mention my husband and I are going to have our grandchildren for three nights and three days. So my upload schedule over the next week may be a little bit different than normal. So don't be surprised if I go maybe a week without any videos. We usually keep them overnight every, maybe every other weekend, but usually it's just for one night. So we're going to have three nights. So we are going to have some fun filled days ahead of us. All right. So once that's pretty much done, then I'm just going to set that on low and move on to the scallops. I don't cook these both at the same time just because I really like to focus on the scallops by themselves because you definitely don't want to overcook these so once they're thawed out then just put them on a paper towel I've had them sitting on this paper towel for probably about 15 minutes and I spent probably the first maybe three or four minutes just taking another paper towel and just pushing it over the top gently you don't want to squish the scallops but just gently to remove some of that moisture and then I'm just seasoning both sides with some salt and pepper you really want to try to get as much moisture out of the scallops as possible because otherwise in the pan if they still have moisture then they're not really going to sear they're going to kind of steam instead so once you have as much moisture out of these as possible and you've got salt and pepper on both sides then you just want to check to make sure that your pan is heated through so I have a pan with just a little bit of olive oil in there I use about a table tablespoon of olive oil and once it's hot then just go around with the scallops start at the top and just remember the first one you started with and then let them sit and cook for two minutes without touching them you don't want to touch them you don't want to move them you don't want to disturb them that's what helps get that sear on them 
So then once the two minutes is up, then you want to remember that one you started with. That way you're cooking them evenly and you're going to go back around and flip them from the one that you started with. Just flip them over and then they're going to cook on the other side for two minutes. Then you want to just take a little bit of lemon juice and just squirt just a dab of lemon juice on the top of each one of them and then I'm adding in a half a tablespoon of whipped butter and then just kind of spoon that over all of them that gives it so much flavor now I don't know if you noticed but I did end up making 16 scallops so I kind of made four for that third portion it is two points for the half a tablespoon of butter and four points for the tablespoon of olive oil so I count each portion of scallops as two points that's to account for the butter and olive oil. And then it's three points for my fried rice recipe. So look how delicious this looks. So this is a five point dinner, 359 calories, and about 25 grams of protein. And then, like I said, I have that third portion that I just set to the side. And then I'm gonna cut into this and just show you what it looks like inside. So it has that nice sear on the outside and then it's just so nice and soft on the inside. And then just top it with the rest of that green onion. So let me know in the comments if you have a special way that you like to make scallops. Okay, so I'm having dessert. And a lot of you know we live in Florida, so strawberries right now are amazing. So I'm going to make just a little strawberry shortcake. I'm just going to use some of this fat-free ready whip, which honestly I don't even know if there's enough in there. My husband's been eating this. So this is the shortcake I use. It's just uh, dessert shells from Publix. And these are four points and 90 calories for each one. So I'm just gonna put that on my scale. And let's see what we can get out of this. Oh yeah, it's right down to it. Hey, all right, I'm gonna have a point worth. <laughs> it's uh, right down to the end though. So this ends up being five points and right about 130 calories. So my totals for the day ended up at 23 points for the day out of 23 points. I think I forgot to mention I get 23 points a day and 28 weeklies on Weight Watchers. I ended up with 1,384 calories and 94 grams of protein. So today was a little bit low for me, but I don't sweat it. I have some days that are higher, some days that are lower. So it all evens out and it's all about moderation. And as far as my water, I mentioned before, I really don't track that because I pretty much drink my water all day long. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi everybody! So we're going to have three days together this time, huh? Yeah. And we're going to have fun. Yeah. Yeah, lots of fun. Yeah. What are we going to do? Swing. <laughs> we're going to swing. And how old are you? I'm a boy. And how old is Lila? Ah! And how old is Lila? Lila. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 